Hello, this is Pete, or Kenshin1913, and we, this is another getting to know Kenshin1913. I don't know why I always got my finger in it, la, 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 but whatever. Anyways, this episode is actually like an episode I've decided to bump up the ladder of episodes that I was planning on doing. Anyways, because I'm enjoying this so much right now that I decided I love this, and this is one of my things now, and... This thing is actually Game of Thrones. Yes, I actually watched the uh, television show on HBO when it was on, and I friggin' loved it. All right, I, in the beginning they were like, "Yeah, winter is coming, winter is coming," and I'm thinking, "Okay, show the show in the winter." They didn't. They waited till April to show it, and I was like, "Ah, I'm not gonna watch it." But let me tell you, I decided to watch it, and it was friggin' awesome. So yeah, let me tell you about why uh, I love Game of Thrones and all the crap that I have of it. Although it's not much. Anyways, I got all these books. Game of Thrones is the first book. It's a it's it's written by George R. R. Martin. And uh, basically it is one of seven books that he's writing um, based on a song of fire and ice. So yeah. And it and it basically is about uh, it's a big, like, murder mystery type, uh, um, murder mystery type, like, investigation, like, it's just amazing, it's just an amazing book, it's, it's, you know what, I don't use the word epic a lot, epic, and, and the story, epic, and anyways, so, uh, so, it's, uh, George R. R. Martin, he's got seven books, he has he's only written five so far, as of 2011, when I'm recording this, he's only written five so far, and I have all five. So, and the nice thing about this is that my sister's friend gave me the first four. Now, I'm not sure like if these four were in a collection, but this is the actual. Um, this is the first book, and it's the Game of Thrones. Now, I do not have the second book because I'm actually loaning it to my buddy Rob right now. But the second book is called. A Clash of Kings. You see this thing right here? A Clash of Kings. Now, I do own it, but I just don't have it right now. That's the second book. Third book is called... And, and let me tell you, the treachery in this book... Like, like there are multiple characters in this book. And it's just amazing. Like, um, the way that he just wrote it. It's just really good. Third book is called uh, Sword of Storms. A Storm of Swords. Excuse me. And, uh... It just gets better. Like, the second book, like, there's treachery in this one. Backstabbing, all kinds of conniving, and incest, and all kinds of amazing stuff. The second book, it, it takes that and doubles it. And it's just, it's just really, really, really good. And then the third book will blow your mind with, like, just, like, some of the main characters that they went on. You know, that they, that they ended. It's just amazing. And, like, just a fantastic book. Now, right now... As, as it's, uh, right now it's 2011, let's say around November. I am currently reading the, f the fourth book, A Feast of Cr for Crows. Now this book is really good so far, and I'm about halfway through as you can kind of see. And it's just really, really good. And the only thing I have to say about this book is I'm kind of missing the main characters from the other three. Like in the first three books they had these main characters I'm not gonna mention because I would really love like I'm totally like if you like fantasy books and you like um, I don't know if you like reading books and, and fantasy and stuff and like medieval things and knights and all that this is hands down you gotta pick it up you gotta pick it up it's like I, I don't even know what to tell you like you like Lord of the Rings if you like Lord of the Rings I'm telling you this is amazing this is amazing but anyways, back to the fourth book. I like this book a lot, but I'm kind of sad that the, that the main characters aren't in it. But I, I can see, uh, as I'm reading, I can kind of understand why like they didn't throw a lot of the main characters while he was writing this book. Because this kind of tells, to me, to me, I, now I haven't finished it. To me, it feels like they're doing, because there's, like, there's not always good and bad guys. But there are a couple of, you know they're bad. And there are a couple of, you know they're good. And this book really kind of shows you... What the bad guys are doing. Kind of like, what are, they, what are they planning and all that. And then finally, just recently, I got this for my birthday. Although it was a late birthday gift. George R. R. Martin's 
A Dance with Dragons. Now, this book is big. Now, this just recently came out. It took them. This book came out in the fifth. The fourth one came out in, I believe, 2000 something or other. Anyways, it took him six years to write this big bad boy. Now, I haven't read it, so I don't really know what's going on in it, but I can't wait to read it. It's going to be awesome. And I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to to what's going to happen in the TV show, how they're going to handle certain situations from the second book, because basically how they're doing it in the HBO show, they are um, they are following them by book, each book, and um, it's it's really good, and I'm really looking forward to the second book and the second season, and then the third season is going to be amazing. Let me tell you, there's a couple of good scenes in it. Anyways, let, let, let's not get crazy. The reason why I like this is because I, uh, you know, I'm a fan. I don't read a lot as much as I used to, but um, basically, like, I'm a big fan of, like, fantasy worlds and knights and dragons and all that stuff, and this, this series has totally got it, and it's like, and it's not like... Some fantasy worlds where, like, knights are all... All the knights are really good and stuff. No, there are people on here that are evil. There are people on here that are good. And there's people on there that are kind of in between. Like, this this feels like it's a real, like... It's a real damn world, you know what I mean? And it's just... It's just so good. And ever since I started picking it up, I just, I just couldn't stop reading it. It's just really amazing. And, uh... And and uh, I gave it to my buddy Rob, and he loves the books. And I love, I love all the characters in the book, even though some of them I hate. You know what I mean? But you gotta, you love them, but you hate them. You know what I mean? You love to hate them. And like, there's not. I just love this. Like, I know, uh, I know this is this book has been around since 1996, and I don't think if I got this back then that I would have understood it as well as I understand it now. But, uh, yeah, this, this book is really, really good. And, and like I said, if you enjoy fantasy series, well, let me see. Is there anything else? I love the characters. I love the story. And, like, ever, like, it's weird to me because, like, you know how sometimes people, like, read the books and then they're like, okay, I'll watch the show. Well, with me, for some reason, it's the opposite where I usually watch the show and that gets me interested in reading the books, like with The Godfather, with this. There's been a lot of uh, other other movies that were like books, and I was like, hmm, that was a great movie, or that was an okay movie. I'm kind of interested to see what like is going on in the books. So I kind of, so I was kind of like that with Game of Thrones. So I picked it up, or my sister, her friend, gave them to me, and uh, and yeah, they're just amazing. And like I said. I'm telling you, if uh, if you uh, if you really like fantasy worlds and and knights and medieval things and all that, totally pick this up. Like seriously, if you like Dragon Warrior and you like Final Fantasy, more than likely you're gonna love these books. I'm telling you. Now I know they're books, and a lot of people don't read them anymore. But let me tell you, this like seriously, I haven't read a real book in like three to four years. And I picked these up, and I've been blowing through them because they're just amazing. So yeah, this let, let me know if you like Game of Thrones. You know what? Let's have a Game of Thrones discussion on this video. Let me let, let me uh, let me ask you who's your favorite character, and what is your favorite book out of the five? Unless there's more that came out after this video, but um, let me know which one is your favorite book, and which one is your favorite character. Um, if I had to say my favorite character is probably, is Tyrion, um, because he's just, um, he's just awesome, and every time I read it now, I picture Peter Dinklage, who's a, uh, who's a dwarf, and he plays him on the TV show, and he's just amazing, it's, his character is just super cool, and I, and I haven't seen him much in the fourth book, and I'm hoping to see him in the fifth book, so yeah, this is, just let me know. You know what? You if you enjoy fantasy shows or books or whatever, let me know. Like, uh, you know, it's to be fun, nice little chat. We can, you know, um, I don't know. You just uh, it'd be interesting to know other people's like favorite fantasy books. Like, there's another book, Legend of Huma, by which I might do a, a video on. 
which uh which is a very good show too which is a very good book too so yeah uh just let me know i mean it's kind of it'd be kind of neat to like we could talk about this stuff so yeah this has been kenshin 1913 or pete and this has been another getting to know kenshin 1913 see you later